Bonnie. Happy Wednesday. I'm getting on fall overload, you guys. Somebody stop me. <laughs> I don't know. I know I promised more summer, and there'll be a couple more summer things, but I don't know. I'm Fall's getting to me, you guys. <laughs> I've got, check it out. I got this shirt from Kohl's, super nice and folly. And then I got this super cute leaf necklace from Avon. I actually am an Avon rep, but I will put the links below in case you're interested. I'll, everyone always asks me about where I get my shirts um, and they want the links. So I'll put all the links below. <laughs> Fall. I don't know, you guys. This is getting exciting. So, so far, Bath & Body Works is doing a really, really good job on fall. I feel like they got their act together for fall. Um, Semi-annual sale, as we all know, which is still going on, by the way, has been a little bit of a disappointment, but, it, you know, there are a couple good things in it. Um, but fall seems to be really ramping up. So far online, they have three new items. They've got the Sunset glow which is the whipped glotion cream i have right here i will be reviewing this this one is amazing you guys um i'd say this is like late summer so this is super exciting they just released sweater weather online bonfire bash and they've got a whole ton of the fall candles unfortunately we don't have a sale right now again but check out these lids if you didn't see my video yesterday these are like a super neat like sunflower lid champagne apple and honey oh my gosh i can't wait to review these candles i want to get the candles up behind me because they're so pretty <laughs> so anyway sweater weather sweater weather i don't know was was it the first year that it came out in 2017 i have the 2017 i'm thinking we had this before though i don't know why um we got four cents in 2017 that included sweater weather bonfire bash autumn nights and then my favorite which is pumpkin picking which i need them to bring back <laughs> i have a little tiny bit left that one was really good you guys um kind of like a pumpkin cinnamon but it wasn't pumpkin uh, sweet cinnamon pumpkin it was like creamier um so then last year sweater weather we got in this style packaging which i didn't love this packaging especially in the mist check it out this was the pink velvet cupcake you can barely see the writing this was not the greatest um design hold the phone they came back this year <laughs> with a really good design um, i also got the body butter last year in sweater weather um they didn't have many body butters last year so i'm hoping this year we get some body butters because i love the body butters from bath and body works so, um, oh, this was, bon did I show you Bonfire Bash? This was Bonfire Bash from um, 2019, last year. I will be re reviewing this line next. So I, just, I happen to have that on my desk. So let's talk about sweater weather for 2020. Four products so far. I don't know if we're getting a body butter. I'd like a scrub, too. The packaging on this one is absolutely gorgeous. They did a gold on the back. And then they did like kind of a beige with the pink and orange flowers. Um, the notes in this one are sun crisp apples, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. It says bright blue skies with clouds of cotton, cool winds rustle, golden autumn leaves. The orchard welcomes you with open arms. Sweater weather is here again. Which is kind of funny for me to reviewing sweater weather when it's like 90 degrees. To me, this is more of a late September, early October scent before Halloween before Thanksgiving, and I'll probably start wearing it around September 1st. Sweater weather to me is kind of like the envelopment of like apples and leaves. It's got a sweetness to it, but it's also got like that woodsy scent. And um, it's an awesome scent. Oh my gosh, I love sweater weather. It reminds me of, I mean, it's, it's the one thing that reminds me of fall. I didn't bring it out. I actually have a... Um, diamond shimmer mist called leaves that's kind of similar but it definitely has like that like crisp apple it's not heirloom apple it's not honey crisp apple this is more to me it's more like of a a green apple i guess i don't know it's a sweet apple but it's definitely mixed with like a leafy woodsy scent but it is absolutely like the perfect fall scent um Check out the fine fragrance mist bottle. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the back. This is an awesome bottle with the wraparound. They did a really good job on this one. So let me just do this. 
I really like it in the mist, you guys. The sweet, like, apple slices really comes out. Um, Suncrisp apple. It comes out definitely more in the mist. I think it's sweeter in the mist. I would say the cream is a little more woodsy, and the mist is a little bit sweeter, in my opinion. Um, check out the lotion bottle. Oh, my gosh. I, it's, everything's reflecting. I'll have to put some pictures on Instagram. Look how pretty this bottle is. It's got, like, a gold... Um, on the front, this one is really nice in the lotion too. It's funny. I want to send a set of this to my mother-in-law because like her favorite apple, uh, fall scent is apple. She loves like the fall or birthdays in October. So she's really into like those fall scents. So I think I'm going to get her a set of this for her birthday. <laughs> Going with the apples. And then of course the shower gel. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. I, I'm actually, I might put this in the bathroom today. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I have like eight shower gels, I swear, in the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, I'm always like trying off. I just finished my strawberry pound cake. <laughs> I'm going to get some more. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I really like how it's got like, this one is a little bit more apple. It's not that Honeycrisp heirloom apple, but it definitely is an apple scent. I love apple scents in the, um, like in the kitchen, in the bathroom. It's so funny. <laughs> Those of you, this is a hysterical story. So over the weekend, many of you knew my, my dishwasher broke. So we basically just turned the water off to the dishwasher because I don't want to fool with it. I actually don't even use the dishwasher that much. But um, <laughs> there was kind of like a like a stale smell going on to the dishwasher. So you know what I did? I used my concentrated rim spray and I like sprayed it in the dishwasher because like I said, I'm not going to be using it for a while. And I'm like, wow, that really works. So then the whole scent like remedied itself and then everything smelled like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. <laughs> so it's funny. I really love those fall scents in like the kitchen floating through my house. Um, I'll have to do another video. I do, I do polish my furniture with the um, the Ultra Shea body cream, and I love doing this in the fall. I'll have to do a demo video. I did one a long time ago. I'll do a new one though. I get a um, a washcloth, and then I just put some um, Ultra Shea body cream on it. Then I rub it all over my furniture, and my whole house smells like fall bath and body works. It's amazing. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you think of sweater weather. Um, they have all four of these currently online right now. Um, they are not on sale. They're buy three. Well, they're a little bit on sale. They're buy three, get two, which isn't the best sale, but it's something. Um, and hopefully we'll be seeing more more fall items. I do want to get back into Bath and Body Works soon. I'm seeing a ton of new Halloween stuff. Um, I don't think Halloween is online yet. We did get a new candle, though, you guys, that I thought was interesting. Sun, oh, Chris Morning Air. I've never seen that style before. Check that out. I was like, what the heck? Where did that come from? <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for fall background, and I will see you guys um, later. I might either do a candle or I might do the glotion. I haven't decided yet. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.